Okay. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, or you can say in the last days, if you like, some shall depart from faith and give heed to the seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. In the latter times, in the end time, some shall depart from faith, giving heed to the seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Which means in the last days, devils will be teaching, indoctrinating people. And it's one of the signs of the coming of Jesus Christ. If you read Matthew chapter 24, when Christ was responding to the questions, as as sure about Fundi Bake, Utimai Pendula, Bambuza, Lagu chapter 24, verse 3. And, uh, and, he, and, and he said upon the Mount of Olives, the, the, okay, and he said, okay, and he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto me, unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? and of the end of the world or of the age of the Lord today. and then Jesus answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceives you take heed that no man deceives you for or because many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. This is the first uh, portion here response to Jesus in answering my questions about Fundi Bark. When shall these things take place or happen? But in the time of the Lord, what uh, what shall be the sign of your coming that is the coming again of Jesus and of the end of the world or of the age see we dispensation bazalwane as opela o e calendar kankunkulu is given this dispensation roughly about 2000 years from the first coming of Jesus until the second coming of Jesus it's going to be roughly about 2,000 years. This is the dispensation of grace. This is the dispensation of the church on earth. It took Jesus Christ or is taking Jesus Christ almost 2,000 years to build his church. After the dispensation, Kuzoza Elande Layo, Ezo Nyagas Sumshaba, Eula Galgangulu. Now, the signs of the coming of Jesus, Ezo Landi Bandalake, Noche Sebuya, Ezo established Umbuso Akepe Sumshaba. One of the signs, deception, Ea Kalwa in York, in the Garden of Eden. In the Bible, we, we must put on the whole armor of God. Put on. And armor is mostly defensive. These are defensive weapons. Put on, it's only the sword of the spirit that is an offensive weapon. But the rest is covering you. Now the Bible says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. 
I wonder if you notice what Izulu does not take Usatane for granted. Though he's defeated, Kotwa, Izulu is honest enough to tell you don't take the enemy for granted. Make sure that you are strong, not in yourself, but in the Lord. And in the power of his mind. Don't take half of the armor, take the whole armor of God. So that you will be able to stand against the wiles. We are not ignorant, we, should, we are not supposed to be ignorant of his devices. He is a cunning thief. He is a serpent that ended up being a dragon. Not with one head this time, but with seven heads. So there's more deception. Unless you look up to Jesus, you, 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 you are strong in the Lord. You are in for a high jump. You are an easy victim for the devil. Even you, if you walk, walk by faith. Walk by faith. Because faith is victory that overcomes the world. It ashes you. This was Bonile last week. No man has a gang. He the la parable of the Gangsala. Oh, what in Gescati Usin is faith is saving faith. He actually is a positional, you know, Christ. Where's the same as you now? You are there before you go. That's a spiritual position. Or it told and go, come, Kelu Jesu, call where who ye. And then a, a miracle happens. You are resurrected, resurrected spiritually. And then you get repentance psychologically in your mind. Because conviction. And then the conviction which is opposite to condemnation. Letter e repentance. E change of your way of thinking, change of mind. Then best bakoni faith ke manje ego asharisha experientially yonanda oge portion of sanga sanga kete la posekto age the just shall live by faith we walk by faith and not by sight we look on things that are not sin we don't look on things that are sin because things that are sin are temporal. But things that are not seen, we look on those. How can you look on something that cannot be seen? It's an eye of faith. You see in the spiritual. You see in the supernatural. You see where your natural eyes cannot see. You see yourself in another picture. Huh? But when you look at yourself in Christ, you see a mighty man of valor. You don't walk by, you are not moved by what your naked eyes can see. You are moved by what God says. You are moved by what faith sees in what God says. You can see a big house, a heavy house. You can see a, a, a brand new car having that. You, if you believe, you will have what you say. That is the dimension of Negus Hambeguyo. We must claim that we are living by faith. We must live in another dimension where there are spiritual divine laws that are in operation. Where you are able to love your enemy without consulting your emotions. Where you live above you into Christ to take the form of Christ until Christ is formed within you. You begin to walk like Jesus, think like Jesus, speak like Jesus because you have his mind. We are serving God of miracles. Just give God a chance. He has sent of his spirit. The spirit of God is God omnipresent. And he can also be God in his omnipotent. Nikon, Nikon, Nikon. Umangabe umoingwele tunyelwegi utang sees unkunukulu to men. Actually, God is the spirit. Ma ascender the Holy Spirit to us. Ut atwele within us forever. Ooh, the Lord has become your portion, your makeup. 
the image up of your new being is comprised of the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus. That is the material we're out. And then you become a new creation, a new species. Someone who live above the natural realm. Ooh, hallelujah. Walking in the victorious. Walking in the realm of the supernatural where the impossible becomes possible, where a curse becomes a blessing. You walk in God's favor. You are there. Hallelujah. You inherit all the promises of God by faith and patience. That's knife and fork. Come on, people. With your knife, you cut. With your fork, you take and put it in your mouth. So a knife can be patience, faith refusing to give up. Faith saying, I'm standing here. Even if it can take me 25 years like Abraham, I'm still going to glorify God. Because I'm fully persuaded that what God has promised, he's well able to perform. If you want to check God's possibility, go for his promises. Remember that leper who said, if you, if you will, you can. If it's your will, that means to say, it's your ability. If you will, Lord, to cleanse me, that means to say, you can. And then Jesus said, I will be cleansed. Because if faith, you are instructed. That is why I said, I think I said last, uh, last, last Sunday, saying, that the, the, the disciples' prayer, is one of the prayers that is full of faith. There you are not praying as a beggar. You are praying as a child. That is why you address the father as the father. In, Jesus said, when you pray, say our father. So he has given us authority to become the children of God. To be a child of God. It's not only a relationship between you and God. It's an authority that you exercise. So if you pray, you exercise the authority. You refuse to carry any burden. Because God is there for you. He's caring for you. You cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. So you refuse to, to live a, a, a sorrowful life. Life with anxieties. Life with burdens. No, you refuse. You are walking in the realms of the freedom from anything. You are not subject to anything. You are not even subject to the lust of the flesh. You are free by grace of God. You are delivered. Hallelujah. Salvation is all about you being delivered and being given something that money can buy and being secured. Is salvation is a package. It provides against it which money cannot buy. There's no money that can buy eternal life. There's no money that can buy your forgiveness of sin. The blood of Jesus is well, is, is, is enough to, re, to, to buy redemption for you, to purchase redemption for you. When Ogwa Konji was on a faith to receive what was bought, what, what was bought for you by the blood of Jesus, even in forgiveness of sin. Before you ask for forgiveness, the blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel was already there asking for forgiveness. That's why it speaks better than the blood of Abel accusing his brother. Are you there? Are you there? In the Hallelujah to Jesus. Uchesuke is giving us a warning. Take heed that no one or no man deceive you. So, departing from faith and taking heed to seducing spirits, seducing, whew, it's like temptation. Devils seducing, tempting you and taking heed to the doctrines of devils. That's what the devil is doing. 
he is mixing ngesikati a language so he was mixing the truth and the lie quoting some scriptures but mixing them with lies so that kuzo phuma le into a deception it is a shame i bring a confusion if you are not you know prepared with an appetite to come to the knowledge of the truth more clearly to see this what to see is is not enough for this life it's enough for the life to come ngano meneki na ito la lord because ungasinswa manje ushayiswa emoto you go straight to heaven but mausa zo pila 20 30 years you need something that will you know that will maintain or equip you prepare you for life and that's why the bible says god has given us all things pertaining to life ku shut lembile sipila manje and godliness meaning spiritual life all things are given to us ready to be received by faith what's up? what about your faith i i said this no michel i said this le faith yakho what no sindiswa ngayo yeah uma ngithandaza ngihamba isicelo sami Nkulunkulu uma ngikholwa ngamkela impendulo you don't receive by prayer you receive by faith lesandla sami izinkinga zakho Nkulunkulu lesi samkela impendulo zakho lithi bible kutsho ku James chapter 1 uma ucela ukuhlakana ipha kholo ngoba ungacaba ngokuthi uzokwamkela anything from god if you don't have faith did you know that you have to even have faith on words that you speak especially when you speak or zoibera njalet when when you confess when you say likewise when you say what god has said mix what you say with your faith that is why the bible was a sin this way we believe with our hearts and confess with our mouth so for what we say was be powerful it be effective fnege pume from the heart that believes you get me now so because if you believe it that means you receive it as true as reality mauti ngiphilile ukusho ngokukholwa noti ngobu feel alike faith and feeling is not the same and will never be the same so much that is why we have to move higher than the realm where ordinary people live so faith is well able to take you to that level of life in actual fact the moment you receive jesus christ bese wamkela what we call life eternal look at that word life it means zoe in greek which is the highest dimension of life when an eagle give birth to an eagle the small eagle inherit everything that mother eagle is and has it has all the genes genetically speaking by being born of an eagle he has a flying ability within flying there is one thing sure but he has to grow in order to reach that level of flying like the mother Remember God was mother eagle to the nation of Israel. He took the nation of Israel to his wing. 
and flew from Egypt to Canaan. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. I'm talking to eagles now. I'm not talking to chickens. That is why your abode is in the heavenlies. Not above the kingdom of Satan, but far above. The enemy, the king, the devil and his kingdom and everything that he has is under your feet. It's up to you now to keep the devil there. Because that's where he belongs. You must chase him away from your children. Away from your business. Away from your body. Because your body is set apart to be the temple of the Holy of God. By the Holy Spirit. This is the house of the Most High God. Even if you can quote that when you command healing in your body. Telling your body, the, reminding your body, you are the temple. You are speaking what God has said. And then God on the other side is watching over his word to perform it. You decree a thing and God will establish what you say. If you keep on reminding your body that you are the temple of God by which, uh, by the, you understand what I'm trying to say to you? Then you make it possible for your body to be disease free. Because that is gospel. To preach. The Bible says we must preach the gospel to everything or to every creature. So your body is part of God's creation. Hallelujah. It can receive the gospel of the king. Now these are the days departing from faith. La faith imele a sound doctrine. So that is why now when people are moving away from this faith, they take heed, okay, to the doctrines of demons. And then when we look, Namaskar Fundanga again, we look chapter 18, Uti will son of man find faith when he comes. Ngabe Uti es my boya Uzok Fumana Ukolo na Here it's talking about faith that perseveres. Faith that refuses to give up. There's a parable, Mokala, a parable of a widow that he was consulting a lawyer of that time. But the lawyer was arrogant, was not fearing God, neither regard man. But this widow refused to give up Oguti Lo Baba Lo Ongam Sabunkulukulu Ongenanda Banabandu Amsis. Her perseverance, to her perseverance is a matter of success. Her perseverance softened this hard hearted man. And then he ended up helping her. Verse 6. Hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man come, shall he find faith on the earth? So 
Sometimes we faint in prayer. Ngoba also tanda ze iskati kodwa impendu linga bondagal. Things are getting from bad to worse. It will take a prayer of faith to pray without giving up. It will take a prayer of faith ogo to tanda ze umtanda zo o consistent. Umtanda zo on a perseverance. Like that uh, uh, the Seraphian woman who came to Jesus and she was a Gentile. And Jesus, like it was like uh, he was giving her a cold shoulder because as she was crying, Azanga am Shesham Nigi attention. Then Kwakuluma Bafundi, but he lowest was a Ubangum Sindo. But this woman kept on asking Jesus for help. And then Jesus said, Angitungi wegni na kugamash. Itunge bantu anabagwa Israel. And she kept on pushing. And Jesus said, I cannot afford to take children's bread and give it to dogs. And then this, this woman said, even dogs, they help themselves with crumbs. And then Jesus responded by serving, by saying, Mame, Great is your faith. There is window. Because this faith of this woman refused even to accept something like that looks like rejection from Jesus. It was like he, she was saying, Angi Hambi La Ginge Nampendu. Now, Uches, we be Zalondo, Jenge, great faith. That is what we need these last days. We have brothers that are departing from faith, calling themselves, Oh, TJ, Mina no Gongolo, I second a stancy. Sitaben. Because man figures Zuluin, there are crowns that are waiting you. Waiting me le gumnyama gubov gem. Gem. This is an assurance from above. You will be rewarded for that. That's the faith that we need these last days. Faith that refuses to give up. Faith that refuses to give in. Amen. Faith of Christ. The life that I live now. Whew. Amen. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ live in me, and the life which I live, I now live in the flesh. I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. The life I live right now, in the flesh I live it by faith of the Lord Jesus Christ that is what we need these days we need the God kind of faith we need faith that challenges every challenge that is challenging you we need faith that experiences 
ano mga ibega ibega kasayin man mangiti ma adventures after after adventures eh? ma exploits eh? if faith egwen surtule lang at luluko if faith egwen so survive ma storms kusulama ma storms kusalawe if faith egwen so ba unshakable kuto shake every mountain before you if faith ends ma demoni atutumele ma kamuga we you understand if faith ignite umlilo from the word umlilo from the spirit he shall baptize with the spirit and fire so if faith it unleashes it releases what is in the spirit what is in the word what is the in the name of jesus what is in the blood you understand? Let rap change how you as I own spacecraft as a within a twinkle of an eye. It's going to be the Holy Spirit. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you cannot fly. You cannot meet Jesus in the air. But in Umoya, or in Guele, who's going to cross a mouth and meet Jesus? That is power in the Spirit. You understand? And that Holy Spirit is within you. Full of power. The blood of Jesus will never lose its power. But faith unleashes, releases the power within. Oh my God. Where's the shape? Landra La Mama, who had an issue of blood, he started by saying, and he followed what he has said by corresponding actions. That's how you release faith. You speak faith and you act faith. Jesus must hear you speaking faith language, and Jesus must see you acting. Hallelujah! Your faith. Mangiti, next year, this time, you will be having a son. After 15 years in Gabato, Labanto, and Mishatwin, you believe first and then you say it. Yeah, you believe with your heart most and confess with your mouth. And then you shall have what you say. And then you, you begin to, 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 to put your faith into action. You must have corresponding actions. But sometimes he prophesies it's a it's a it's a baby boy. And 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 that baby boy, you can name him Isaac or John or whatever. And you take what God says. Hallelujah. And receive what is carried by what God says. Because everything that you see was brought into existence by the word. If you understand the power of the word and what the word can do, what the word con contains, you begin to have, the Bible says, if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. If we know that he has heard us, we have what we ask for. You, you, by faith, you are well able to have before you receive. It's by faith that you receive in order to have. You will never have anything until you receive something. In fact, when the word of God is preached to you, don't just receive the word. Receive what, also what is contained by the word. So that your life will never be the same again. Whenever you come and hear the word, it releases something. Hallelujah. In a package of the word. The same. Who's the number high expectations? You're not risking. By having ama high expectations from God. Because with God, nothing is impossible. According to the aid of the Holy Spirit. Because we pray 
Hallelujah. Under the auspices and the aid of the Holy Spirit. He knows the mind of God. So he will make sure that our prayer are according to the will. Hallelujah. So if you ask under the aid of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, getting ready to receive by faith, praying according to his will, he hears her. He hears you. And if you know that, you are having already what you ask for. Which means, So, Abantabas of survivor these days, Abantabas of faith that never gives up. Abantabas of faith which is the sound doctrine. Matua people will depart from faith. Mofun the second Timothy chapter four. Kutwa preach the word in season and out of season. Uti u Paulos u Paulos lapo. Goba uze skati la benga sezu vuma is doctrine a sound or a living. Bazos funela baba ba shumaye, abazo shumele de funwa inyama ya abo. Abanga konde kusi zagala, abafuna entertainment from the pulpit. But, but when I never depart from the sound doctrine. Yaukela, I exhort you, never depart from a living doctrine. It is life though to, to those who receive it. And medicine to all their flesh. spiritual vitamins to make you strong. You grew. Hallelujah. Your growth is luxuriant. You grow luxuriantly if you have an appetite for a sound doctrine. What I need, not what I want. Because I may want something that I don't need. It is possible. So as human beings, sin a tendency, young artisan a chelo into si tanda, not a si tinga. In the second, sing your pet. Faith of the last days. That is why you have to check yourself. It's cut in cut. Check yourself as the Spirit of God helps you. If you remember very well, one of the prayers is got a video. It is such me, Lord. Search me, Lord. What's that called? Search me, Lord. La Enwa Jinga Basse Corinthe. Chapter 13. The Bible says there, verse 5. Examine yourself or check yourself. Whether ye be in the faith, prove yourself. Know ye not that your own self, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobate. Gitanda lenda ukala et examine yourself whether ye be in faith. Check yourself whether you are still in faith. Go against the Gulale, we faith of girls away in it. So, Kulum language is Mangale song city, Domsalon being a Kulumiganch. So, when they gain a guy, so the reason one of the reason is good to stick to a salem tanders win because um tanders or in the laws check a call. M. Tandazwen, Ilapo, Wenza, Kona, Introspection. 
me. If you find something that is not okay, lead me to path of righteousness. Tell me, Lord. Ever since Umbu Sicile, now I'm a millionaire, Sengalu Pagama, tell me, please. And be honest before him. Search yourself whether you are still in faith. You must even check your communication, your friendships, your, 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 you know, you know. What's up, Jermaine? Little Mutu. Part ways with him or her. Or your life is at stake. So that's how you check yourself whether you are still in faith. One thing mofunda some of the uh, message to the churches in Asia Minor. Uh, and we are no part most of the time. I have got this thing against you. As far as I'm concerned, we will. And committee adultery, committee fornication, and all those things. So, passion against someone. over my dead body, I will never forgive you. That is not love. Say no mundo amtan de la yunkonswin na sem sebenzin. That is not love. Uwile. Usin siwa wen mtu anangunku got a fumunkunkula comba ma mistake square. Check yourself whether check your prayer life. Is it still okay? Check check the way hallelujah read the Bible. I'm still reading the Bible. No mulalunga zangul fun the Bible. Are you still in faith? You uh, uh, to the point where you will depart from faith. Yeah, check yourself whether you are still filled and led by the Holy Spirit. Numa Inyama has taken over. You don't even have that passion for lost soul. Your love has waxed cold. No mangapela two weeks unga zangu yenko zweni akutindegi ndao. You are not missing anything. You need deliverance and revival. You need a special revival. You need fresh anointing. Anoint me, Lord, with fresh anointing. With fresh oil. We need to be refreshed again and sing and agree major service. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? Yes. Ube no three days fasting je, kwa fasting lenge, ugu tige, ube right. Yeah, in relationship ya kono 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 is not easily affected because you are born of God. But if fellowship, if fellowship part kwa kono 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 can be easily broken. Lendao and communicate ngayo nibe ne intimacy nonkulunkul utu satu atandaza aku nige nanga pezgo kwe lagwangu. Your fellowship with God is healthy. But kensa kensa yaka utu atandaza uzu kuti eh eh ya boy lande beng chwele uguti gizwe kukube kwa ni connection nonkulunkul. 
Lanto, your Kanjelon Kulungul, give vision Nanga dreams. Lanto, a passion for Christ, setting my affections on things above, not on things on earth. Lanto, you you are like a cool in how uh, in, in the power of God. Now, so come book, so come and knock the timber, because uh, prayerlessness is a sign. You knock the timber, capes of timber, gun gun. No, I can't do it without God. But there's no need for me to pray. No, no, it's a no for me. I say it's a no. You can't risk your life that way. Oh, Nikono, no, your flesh is an opportunist. Manga tu etle moye inyami tata ov. So it's very important for you to make sure that we am release moye ngwele. I seven zibilog, I sustain zibilog. I make sure. Little people, you just come boza kushuti si akoshwa. Umoye ngwele at cleaning ogus fundis upinda skumbu boza fundi segon. And we are not sensitive, sir. Yo. Listen, little people, Ngayumongwele. God works in you both to will and to do according to His will. Kutwa, work out your own salvation. Do something that can be observed by people. People that can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do do something as you're working out your own salvation. It is. It can be observed. People can see. You're working out because God works in you. So your your working out is the byproduct of God working in you. Mau uzengonzwe si agbona songe uzengonzwe, but something in you is has driven you. Hallelujah! As Jesus was driven, led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness. Aikin tu chesa isenzela yona all by himself. It took the spirit of his father. The spirit of the Lord is upon me and has anointed me. See what I can do is what I see the Father doing in me. If I heal the sick, it's because of what I see the Father doing in me. So I'm working out. I'm doing it so that people can see and receive. But the Father started by doing it in me. Now He's doing it through me. So work out your own salvation. That is faith in action, because faith without works is dead. You don't just believe, believe, believe without corresponding actions. Work out your own salvation. If I'm praying, I'm working out my own salvation. If I read the word, I'm working out my own salvation. If I confess my sins, I'm working out my own salvation. Whatever I do, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I forgive someone, who does not forgive but harbor bitterness. So I'm working out my own salvation because God works in me both to will, even the willingness is from God, even repentance is from God. It is the byproduct of God's conviction by the Holy Spirit. If God convinces my mind, then the, by, the product there is my mind entering into repentance. Even the home, repentance is a gift from God. Faith is a gift from God. Did you Bible says in song of Moses and God call na loka kveli git. Very important, is it? They will make you to stand the test of time. The test. Of What is happening in the Middle East right now? Because it is the fulfillment of the prophecy. And it is showing us what is happening. Whenever a Middle East is, conf is coffined, the whole world catch cold. Just a, a, just a, a population of a, not more than 15 million. Because uh, Israelites there are about nine. And then Palestinians, uh, two million on the other side, five. So five plus 
seven, it's about 16. Yeah, it doesn't reach 20 million. But whenever there's a fight there, the whole world shakes. Why? We are 7 billion to 80 now. But look, 15 million. Why? Finesse Ben, he is three. Ben, Israel. Ben, history. Yes, he is our Israel. Ben, he is three. I'm a Palestinian. Nikona noke basala. Abangi babizwa. Nge kama. Oh, Israel. It's, it's the name of. Uh, I can call it a, a race with. It's a nation actually with seven, with 12 I mean, races. But I'm a Palestinian, Abizwa, Ngezwe, Jungut, South African. You see? And as South African, we have got Tosas, we have got Zulus, we have got uh, African, as Bizenga Lelo Gama, Ngaba Essay Africa, Mteto Angama Dutch. You see? Now, who can be one race So let's into the Z wash immigrant East E wash in Kaba. In our country, immigrant Ute Suzalelapa, young Kinto, Yetelelapa from heaven, Yetelapa. The Bible is still taller from there. In fact, Africans as a Zotin are. Yeah, African people, Banga Bokala Ogamgeli Bible. From Isiswe, Ungulungula Letengaso, a message, M. Shabi. That is why Um Ten, who was an African man, he was already having the Old Testament, reading the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, 2000 years ago. We could read and write. In fact, uh, Amas, a civilization uh, is Africa, especially Egypt, is one of the first countries in the world. Above, above, even the mathematics, because they back Amas pyramids, each geometry, Yakon, was very high. Also, Moses, Lab, Batoluasi, Egypt. In fact, it is our Israel. Satola, Ukrunwa, and Kuliswa, Ekdine, and Gobasebebon, but comfortable, like Oshem, Unkulungura, or release of Pharaoh, Ongamazu, Josepha. He shook the nest as mother Ike so that I'm abandoned by Israel Bazuba comfortable because they God had the land for them. So they must be comfortable, uncomfortable. Like mother Ike taking all the feathers, who's them, Kusale, twigs and thorns. So that I'm a, I'm a chickens of an eagle, my dear Sal, a Sajwamev. Anga be comfortable. Anga zakula be matal. Our phones in our days. So after 400 years, let's see. So we are born to rule. So we need to see things like that. So we need to see this again. So these are the things. As Kumbuti, we are the last generation before the coming of Jesus. They are part of the good news. Gobas pile la loko velen. Gobas sin swenge. Singa zilin te. Gobas banda banga call. In gobas sin etemba. So in the book of Jesus is the good news. Hallelujah. If you, you speak those, those words, you are a, a prophet of doom. They become fearful. But in the book of Jesus, we are not celebrating. 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 It's dangerous. We come to the Lord and I ask Him to lead. Wah wah. Who Jesus was is why Lord. Hallelujah. Let the people as angry. What begs the least also? What begs the least? Pambano. Yeah. Engal na git also. Wal tuali also. Genga yento gozo. E ai bewe pamwa. He could see the results beyond the cross. That is why ugu ya kwa kes pambano in my child abafund. Ud the time has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. We miss a glorification because after that cross, his name was taken very high to be above all other names. So, those are the signs that our redemption is coming closer and closer. 
And then our tears will be wiped out. Hallelujah. Sizongena lapho ngekho ngu bad news khona kungepho uxasuka khona singasalwi nalutho ngoba usathana ezobe ngekho akho zifo akho ngisho oneesi ngoba gulwa akho majele akho nix akho ngusha mathuna akho nix forever nothing akho ngishi khubekiswa akho ngisho ukuthandaza asikho isidingo sokuthandaza amasungalo indumiso kuphela ezosalo we are not going to fight anything. As I can enter so he begs Elela. The seven zala lele verse the shaman zongi kan al tinge ngale. That is why all the gifts of the spirit zopele lo iskat no prophet kuzopele. Joba gibi zong postol ije kuto postol masaba kuzopele postol kuto kusalu ba i i umtu ana gan kun kun kusale oguba insha lifaga inokrest. Kusaluba, hallelujah, is son of God. Koto, Uba Mfundis, Uba Prophet, Nogba Mpostol, Kuzo Pela, Ngoba, Kunjengama, Kutwa in Lesito, Sachins of Magwaki, Kunjanga Mascafu, Into my sea paling, a mascafu, our son Kusala Indonga. So tina singa maje apili le kota ama kifti eto ama skaful unguche sawa seven sayo uwaka imanda la ke inga kujio akun shopi mau ati je so kelpa masab ezepan bilas konzengez angi gish inti nkubi le basoran aning bisanga ngompostol bona ke bona lento yonga bisu ngompostol ni wrong lento e no ubu postoli office. It's not me. It's not my identity. It's not me. It's not me. I'm far high than what I do. Who I am is far above what I do. So, give your land, and give by grace of God. And send that of a neck, who's then who looked to Usman Ban. Mangena, I'm going to go wrong. I'm going to go inside. Mangena, 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 he said, I'm here to save, not to be saved. See as his cat lands or save one house. See as his cat lands or two is what call. But in those seven, a man. Kukulu is against the way God. See, cool is cool, then beg what goes. Get there, no crest was as a man. Gisho ngang kamgo amu pupi shop ngega ngzule ngale so school. School da Samsung a pesgo eska queen. School da Samsung a pesgo president. Lentengi hiyo as a child of the Most High, I was chosen to be what I am before the foundations of the world, not by a ballot paper. We're entering coming next Sunday and Lazo. But I want to interpret the times we're living in. So that we not miss the season. Because when the season comes, it's an isn't. You miss the season, you have missed isn't which are carried by the season. See? I want to Israel, Abazange by Bambi opportunity, you can't hear. Was Wahambu Jesu, Watatwa Ifu, Nendo Zabant. Because they failed to, to, to understand what it now is the time. Where was the Lord? How then will never be the same? I'm telling you. That's the looks old island. Get ready to see your life being spiritually revolutionized as never before. And you will be a blessing to your nation, to your nation, to your family, to a bunch of servants and abem servants. It can be any section the law when Ucho Sefe Yetwa. Hey, yeah, to Joseph, Eki Peter. Eki Peter had more than enough during the times and the years of global recession. 
From all over the world, Egypt had more than enough. Economically, it was up there because the prime minister was a child of God.